hi hello how are you um so i just had to get rid of <laughs> most well actually all of the last like two reading vlogs that i filmed because the first one that i filmed was on my phone and i just didn't like the quality of that video and then the second one i just lost a bunch of footage so that's fun so i couldn't i had to scrap that couldn't use it um, but I figured let's go ahead and start another reading vlog. Like, why not? <laughs> um, I need to spend this weekend. Wow, that's so blurry. Uno momento. So I have to finish some books that some authors sent me. And then I want to get into my reading vlog for Fourth Wing. So I figured I would just take you through like the next couple of days of hopefully me getting through a couple of books. I've already gotten through two this week. And I have like eight more that I need to read. I mean, I don't have to read eight this weekend. My goal, let's see, I have my little list of ones that I need to finish. My goal is to finish five <laughs> by Sunday. Um, is that attainable considering it is Thursday night? I don't know, but I figured let's go ahead and stay up as late as I can to read um i don't have any plans for the rest of the night i'm pretty much done with everything that i needed to get done i will have to edit some tomorrow but yeah i just figured why not let's let's make a little, little readathon out of it the books that i need to read let me let me get them for you so the first one that i have to read is actually on my kindle and it's called compulsive i'm like 60 percent of the way through that one and i'm actually really enjoying it like it's really good so far i didn't i didn't know how i was gonna like it just because of the premise if you guys haven't heard of this book <laughs> it's compulsive by leah fairchild i've already said that um and it's about a compulsive liar who has like dodged and just not vibed with all of her therapists that she's had because she has she's like going to mandated therapy right i'm really not explaining this well okay so she had one therapist right then that therapist was like i wash my hands of this i'm done you're insufferable and then dips as that's happening she meets a guy that is also a therapist at that same office and she's like wait a second you're kind of hot and so she <laughs> she starts like pursuing him and they end up like being in therapy together he ends up like taking her on as a client so i'm at the part now where they're like starting to recognize their feelings for each other well he's starting to recognize his feelings for her she's known that she's had feelings for him like since they met he was obviously like no this isn't right i can't have any relationship with you i'm your therapist as he should <laughs> um but yeah I'm, I'm really enjoying it so far if i had to guess a star rating for it honestly i'd probably say like a four stars and the reason being is because it like it's so the characters are phenomenal like the character development and just like how flushed out her characters are it's phenomenal like every character in the book it's just they're so well written and it's like it's not a story that you would conventionally root for but i find myself rooting for the main character which i feel like is when you know that it's good like i know i shouldn't like this main character and i will say i will say at the beginning of the book it was very not difficult to like the main character but she just like it came off as like kind of creepy vibes or just very unsettling i feel like is the best word for it and as you go through the book, it just gets more and more enjoyable. So I really, I'm really into it. I'm really liking it. Then after that, I have to read. Then after that, I want to read A Blossom at Midnight, which is the first book in a trilogy that a Christian author sent to me. I'm not too sure what it's about. All I've heard about it is that it's like a cozy fae romance, like fantasy type deal. Um, and I'm super excited to get to it. I really want to read it. It's on my Kindle. So I'm gonna have to like, I've, I'll be reading a lot on my Kindle this weekend. So that's another one that I want to read. And then I also, I have a couple physical books too. Let me get my little listy. Unshul Mine, Cave Ridge, and Secrets of the Catalog. In a momento, let me go pull these books out. So then I have three more books that I really want to get done this weekend. The first one is called Secrets of the Catalog by Amelia Spencer. And I genuinely have no idea what this is about. She posted some TikToks about it. And then she actually reached out to me a little bit ago asking if I'd be willing to read it. And I remember like getting a, a little bit of what it was about back then. And I just remember like being kind of intrigued by it. Um, I've, I have no idea after that. So I, I want to get through this. This is like just at 300 pages. So I should be able to read it this weekend. Um, I'm just going to have to have like zero distractions. <laughs> uh, 
Then I want to read Once Your Mind by Morgan Bridges, which is basically honestly like a haunting Adeline type deal. A stalker sees this girl like I don't know if he meets her. I can't I, I don't remember if he meets her or if he just sees her, but he ends up getting into some kind of contact with this girl and he ends up like stalking her and wanting her and that's really all I know. <laughs> um, so we'll see what that's about. Then I also have Key Ridge by Allison Spica. She sent this to me. It's about a girl who picks up and moves to Key Ridge, Colorado, which if you don't know this about me, Colorado is like my favorite place ever. And she ends up meeting this like snow or ex-professional snowboarder who who works at the lodge that she's gotten a job at. And so it ends up being kind of like a, a rivals to lovers type deal where like he's mean to her and she's trying to avoid him because he's mean to her and it just it ends up turning into of course a little love story so these are the books that i want to read i have five on the agenda for the next like three days thursday friday saturday sunday yeah, three and a half days will count because i'm gonna finish reading probably compulsive tonight so four and a half books i have and <laughs> in the next few days i'm determined to finish them and honestly they're all pretty short so like theoretically i should be able to get them done i just have a terrible attention span i just have a terrible attention span but i'm going to probably finish compulsive then start with a blossom at midnight then it'll be one of these three i think i think i'm gonna go secret to the catalog you're mine and then key ridge i think that is what i'm going to do um, so let's just go ahead and get into it. It's like 7.15 at night. I don't know if that'll, yeah, 7.15, um, Thursday night. I have to go medicate my dog because she just got spayed. So I have to go give her her food and her pills and everything. And we're just going to start reading. I think I'm going to start, obviously I said I'm going to start compulsive. So I'm going to start with my Kindle reading. <laughs> anything so I don't want to spoil anything but like make up your mind you know like don't be that's so stupid so I'm as I was saying I'm gonna give it uh probably until like tomorrow afternoon or so to give it a full rating because that was a lot <laughs> to be honest with you that was a lot honestly it kind of reminded me of addicted to you by Krista and Becca Ritchie where it's like they're bad for each other but they're both good for each other but it's like obviously there are some there are some issues that need to get worked out before they try to be together but it's like man that's a tough one jeez look at this dude uh <laughs> all right so now i have key ridge once your mind and secrets of the catalog 
And to be honest with you, I'm honestly in a fantasy mood and I think that's what this is. So I want to start with this and if I'm not liking it, I'll probably go to like once you're mine or something. But really quickly, I ordered a another lens because I <laughs> broke my other one and my mom had like this crazy good coupon from Best Buy and it was supposed to get delivered today. So let's see if it actually got delivered, you know, hold on, hold on, uno momento, por favor. How is this okay? I paid for same day shipping and now it says it's no longer available for same day shipping. Hello. What does that even mean? A shopper has been assigned. What does shipped? Hold on. We're going to figure this out like right now. Okay. Anyways, we're going to forget about that because I'll just get a, a, a replacement if they mess that up. I just want a lens. <laughs> okay. So I think I'm going to start Secrets of the Catalog by Amelia Spencer and all oh, the dedication says to the readers for whom books are an escape from this world this is my love letter to you which is super cute um i'm gonna see if this is on kindle unlimited though okay, that is like the third time today that i have dropped all of those books let's see if it's on kindle unlimited because if it is i'm just gonna get it on there you know my biggest like fear is getting a book on Kindle Unlimited, returning it before I finish it, and then it c getting like taken off of Kindle Unlimited. Like, is that a valid fear? I feel like how often does that actually happen? I don't know, but it's it's it severely scares me. Um, okay, I think I'm gonna move to my bed now because I'm tired of sitting up. <laughs> lights because it feels very bland in here without them and if you can hear like chewing or grinding in the background it is simply because my dog is chewing on a like bone bone I don't know what that means um because she just got spayed Wednesday and she's been a pain in the butt that's the only way that I can keep her calm because if not, she's like a pinball in a pinball machine and she just refuses to be chill. That feels better. That feels better, yeah. Let's just like kind of get ready for the day and talk about some books, shall we? So 
I took some clips of me reading a little bit more of the secrets of the catalog this morning. And I just wanted to talk about it really quickly because I'm really enjoying it. Also, my tonsils are like super swollen right now and I genuinely have no idea why. Like I don't feel sick really, but I do have like issues with my tonsils. So if I'm talking funny, that's why. Like I'm not dying, I just, my tonsils actually hate me and they don't want me to be great. <laughs> so I'm just, I'm dealing with that right now. Anyways, um, secrets of the catalog. Honestly, I'm enjoying it a lot more than I thought I was going to. At the beginning, it was a little bit slow, like trying to figure out the rules of the world. And I'm really only like 60 pages in. So arguably, I still don't know the rules of the world. But where we're at right now, the girl, she stumbled across this library and comes in or she like walks into it and she gets like basically transported into a different world. And, or I don't know if the library is in a different world or if it's in her world, but the books that are in this library all represent different worlds and like you reading them takes you to the world that's in that book. So like Lewis Carroll's Alice in Wonderland has already been mentioned. Um, and a couple of other books that have that have been mentioned as well. Yeah, I mean, it's it's really interesting. Like I'm liking the the talk of the different like classic books, I guess. Like I'm really enjoying that aspect of it because that's really fun. Um, the writing is actually it's really easy to read. It's not like a, a difficult book to read. And I find like with some indie authors, just because they don't have like a team of people to like help catch stuff or to help revise stuff, it can get a little bit like convoluted sometimes. And I mean, it's you know, it's not like they have the resources that like traditionally published authors do. So it's not it's nothing against them at all. It's just it's difficult being an indie author. I will say like with this one, there is there isn't really any of that like it's easy to understand there's nothing to complain about I guess is what I'm saying so like in the book we've gotten to the point where there is this thing called the library of the catalog or the, the central library so it's called the central library and basically the central library controls what books get published and what books get banned depending on the world that that book creates so like if the world that that book has created is really dangerous then they'll ban the book because these librarians have to travel in between these worlds and if it's really dangerous then they could like die <laughs> our main character has discovered that her mom is a librarian and she thought that her mom had like passed away in a house fire when she was I don't know younger it was eight years prior to when this book takes place so I'm not sure how old she was when it took place but eight years prior she thought she lost her mom in a fire and now she is discovering that her mom is alive and well I think we've met one of the love interests I, when I read the back I realized that the back told us like really a lot about the book and I almost like wish that it wouldn't have gone into such depths about like some parts of the story because the back of the book tells you like essentially who the love interests are and there was one that like I hadn't really seen coming I guess but I mean like if you read the beginning of the book and you really pay attention I guess it, it makes sense but yeah I just I, f I wish it was like two paragraphs shorter because if you look at the back of this book like this is the blurb for like what the story is about so if it had ended like here I feel like I I probably would have been more surprised with some of the stuff that I was reading because I read the back of the book I'm like okay well I know what it's about unless because she said she was sending me an author copy so I don't know if this is I don't know I don't know we're just gonna stop talking <laughs> anyways but I'm really enjoying it I'm really really enjoying it I'm on page I'm on chapter four right now which is page like 59 so I'm like that far into it and there's only, I believe there's only like 300 something pages. It's like, yeah, there's 308 pages. So it's really very, very short. And I do have some like stuff to take care of. Like I have to finish washing like my bedding and stuff like that. I really hope I put the clip in of her like acting like a crackhead yesterday because that was wild. So let's just talk about some plans for the day, reading and otherwise. It is raining outside and I do work outside. I'm a tennis coach. So... If it rains, 
then I'm probably just gonna have like a cozy, cozy day in because it, this weather, the past like two days have been absolutely perfect. They've been giving, I've been absolutely loving it. But of course it's supposed to like go away today. I think today is supposed to be the last day that it rains, which like really sucks. I can't find my eyeliner. So if it does rain, we're just gonna have like a little cozy, cozy chill day in. I don't really have any errands to run. I don't need to go spend any more money on books, even though like I really wanna go to half price books. So here's the thing, if it rains today, I'll go to half price books. If it doesn't rain today and I do have to go to work, I'm going to have fresh books tomorrow. <laughs> um, I don't know, we'll see. Cause today's Friday and I won't work tomorrow. So that'll be good. Like I have my cup of coffee here. This is my second one of the day, <laughs> but I do want to go. There's like this super cute little coffee shop near my house. And I only go through the drive-thru, but like I want to go inside and like sit. Cause it's such a cute little like spot, but I don't want to go today if I'm going to work just cause I don't want to leave my dog for that long because she just got spayed. and I don't want to I don't know she has separation anxiety so I don't want to freak her out by leaving for that long if I already have to leave the house for the day um I'm gonna see if I can get my boyfriend to come over and just like hang out with her while I'm gone because by the time I'm going to work he should be already off I think it just depends on this work day but I think we'll go to the coffee shop tomorrow as far as other plans honestly the goals for today are to clean up the house a little bit normally Sunday is like my reset day but I think I'm gonna do like my room today I kind of want to reorganize my bookshelf tomorrow and then Sunday is the rest of the house <laughs> um just because I do want to get a good amount of reading in. I know that if I try to clean like the whole house in one day, I'm not going to get any reading in. And like, I need to finish the three books that I told you all about yesterday. Um, I need to finish those three this weekend so I can get to some other stuff next week. I don't know if this is you guys too, but like when I get, when I have a lot of stuff to do, I end up not doing any of it because I feel like I have too much to do. Like the only way that I can get all of it done is by like creating a list together list together the only way i can get all of it done is by like creating a list and then giving like each thing a priority so i had to do that with these arcs i had to give myself like a priority list otherwise i wasn't going to finish any of them like i just i don't know if it's i get overstimulated or if i just get like overwhelmed but i just won't i won't end up finishing anything yeah it's it's great it's grand it's beautiful can i even give y'all like a set plan for today i don't i don't even know yeah so number one on the list i already have one load of laundry in the in the laundry so i'm waiting for those i'm waiting to have to switch those and then while I'm waiting, I want to get through more of Secrets of the Catalog. And then after a little bit, I will I will have to edit some TikToks to post today. And I probably will end up having to film one as well. Talk is going insane. Y'all see her? And yeah, let's just... finish what I need to finish and then get back at y'all when I start reading because I don't know what's going on right now. Okay, so I have just finished like deep editing two TikToks and I'm getting ready to post one of them. That took me about like an hour to do. It took me a lot longer to do than what I was expecting, but it's okay. I have all of the ones that I'm gonna post for today ready to go. The only other thing on the agenda now is just to read. I'm really excited to get back into Secrets of the Catalog, but I do think before I do that, I'm gonna go downstairs and make 
some breakfast slash lunch. I just figured out you can link books in your TikTok video. So that's what I'm doing now. The only thing is that like, because I'm on a carnivore diet, which if you don't know what that is, it's just like, I can't have anything <laughs> that's not meat or cheese. Um, I mean, I do have some vegetables and I do have some fruits, but like very, not really fruit actually, just more so like ve some vegetables. Um, and it's been literally like the only thing that's cleared my acne and helped me with just like overall like feeling better, which means that my breakfast is going to be literally just fried eggs and a slice of cheese on top. And that's what I've been eating for like the past week. And it's just the easiest, most filling thing to make. So I'm about to go do that. And then after we're done with that, I'm going to get back into secrets of the catalog to see if I can finish it today. That's fingers crossed. That's, that's what the goal is. It's looking like I'm not going into work. So I think that that will be what we end up doing for the day. I don't know why I keep slipping into that accent. It's so irritating. Um, okay. Anyways, let's go make some breakfast. Cue the breakfast montage. <laughs> Okay, so it's like a couple hours later and to be so honest with you i've only read hold on let me get the book i'm like halfway through chapter six um so not great i mean i just like i think i've just been like super worried about whether or not i'm gonna end up having to go to work but i just got the call that I didn't have to go. So I'm, I'm can just like chill out and relax now. I was going to go to the coffee shop, but I think I'm just going to do that tomorrow morning because it's like, I, I'm still going to have coffee. I just don't want to leave my house right now. <laughs> so I think that's going to be something like I'll wake up tomorrow to do to like read some stuff that while I'm there. I don't know why I just like sat there not saying anything for that long. Um, if you can hear chewing again, my dog is back at it again with the white vans. Um, so I really need to get this finished like today. I'm on page 95 right now. So I really could get this knocked out today. It's just a matter of will I, and I will, I will. I will get it knocked out today. I don't have a choice. I'm telling myself that if I finish this today, that I can start like a mood read afterwards. And I haven't really been able to mood read in a hot minute. So that's gonna be super fun. I don't know what book I would read if I finish this. That's even if I'm in the mood to read. You know what? No. <laughs> I think what the reward is going to be is if I finish this, then I can spend the rest of the night watching TV and editing. As soon as I finish this, then I have to, then I can start doing those things. Cause after this, I only have two more books to read and they're both pretty short. So it's like a book a day for this weekend. And that's very doable, I feel like. So I'm just gonna probably go make another cup of coffee or probably a cup of tea actually. Cause my throat is still kind of bugging me. <laughs> So I reached none of my reading goals yesterday. Um, I got a little bit more through Secrets of the Catalog by Amelia Spencer. It's going really well, like I'm really enjoying it. I'm just, I had a little bit of a rough mental health day yesterday and I wanted to talk a little bit about that because like I get, it happens every now and then to me and it definitely happens under certain circumstances. So like my dog had to get spayed on Wednesday and because of that, I had to take some time off from work. And then it's also been raining here. And because I'm a tennis coach, I've talked about this in this vlog already, um, because when it rains, I don't get to work. Like, I don't have to work. I've been inside a lot recently. And with it being like really gloomy outside, it just makes it really easy for me mentally to kind of like, 
I don't know, go into not necessarily a darker place, but more of just like a uh, depressed place. I just get really sad. I'm the kind of person that needs to be like out doing things and not spending a whole lot of time inside just because I, for whatever reason I've always been like this the more time I spend inside the more depressed I am which is like such a crazy thing to say I feel like and yeah so I think today I, I do really want to read Secrets of the Catalog and I will be reading it and hopefully finishing it in this vlog I do want to spend some time out of the house today I'm not as worried about my puppy as I was before so she can spend more time in the crate and I'll and I'm gonna go out I have to go run by the bank I want to go get a coffee and then maybe also go like by Target or something just to kind of spend some time away and out of the house I'm going to bring some headphones I think probably pick you guys up when I'm in the car getting ready to go I just wanted to to say that just because the reading plans I guess technically have changed for this vlog I was trying to get all three of these books done um, but it's Saturday morning at like 9 30 and my boyfriend gets off work normally at like 12 1 o'clock ish depending on his work day what uh, what else he has to do so I think the new plan is to finish this and then start once you're mine okay so I just got coffee and I got an iced coffee even though it's cold outside I cannot get a hot coffee I've been stuck on this drink and that's an iced caramel macchiato with half and half cream and vanilla cold foam um, it's amazing and they do like a little caramel drizzle on top and it's so cute yeah that's amazing anyways so we're about to go to the bank I think after that we'll do Target well what I want to do is I want to go get some birthday presents for my boyfriend because his birthday is coming up in nine days and I want to see what day his birthday is on okay his birthday is not this coming Monday but the Monday after that so I want to start getting things prepared for his birthday today I really don't feel like driving like 30 40 minutes because the closest half price books to me is actually like 40 minutes away and I really don't feel like making that drive at the moment so we'll probably just do like Tajay because I think today's the last day of their sale their buy two get one sale so I might go to like a couple of different targets maybe we'll see da, 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 da. 